Hey everybody, today I'm showing you the Latte Iota. It's a single board computer. You can use it for robotics, AI, all these different things. It works with a touch screen display. It has all these different ports, such as HDMI and I2C and all these things that DIYers and makers are familiar with. These guys are known for products that are made for DIYers and makers. And were kind enough to send me one of these to test. This is the eight gig version with 64 gigs storage space. Let's see what's included. So we have a bunch of stuff here. Pretty much all the accessories you need to get it started, I think. So that's the version that I have. These are all the parts that are included. So you have your antennas. You can use something like this to build your own robot, Internet of Things, projects, install Windows 11 on it or Linux. Latte Panda is available in multiple versions. It's the N150 process with four cores. The version that I have has eight gigs of RAM. There's a 16 version as well. See, this is for example, the active cooler. This is the UPS hat. Pretty gorgeous single computer board. It looks small, but it's very powerful for the size. It's the latest version that they have. You have your Ethernet port, your USB-C, your audio port, your HDMI, your USB 3 ports. You have all these additional parts here to connect your devices, such as a touch screen and other things that you want to add. You can go to LattePanda.com to get more information. It's sort of like a mini computer. So if you use the computer, if you've seen a motherboard, sort of like a smaller version of it. It is pretty thin, even from the thickest side. This is the user manual for it. So they explain all these different parts, memory card slot, your switches, your USB-C ports, your reset button. I've never opened these before. I've, I don't even have experience with this platform, but it seems pretty straightforward. The challenge is going to be actually figuring out what to do, how to install different things. These are the screws that you need. This is your cooler. You have this where you connect it. So pretty straightforward this is very connected a bunch of these I'm not going to be using for but you can use the SSD if you want M2 expansion board this is the power over Ethernet hat again you get you get these I'm gonna just put them here so I don't lose track of them there is a guide in case you need help with installation this is the user manual for this other one so that all of them have these tiny little things just in case you need help getting it started what's this this is the smart ups uninterrupted power supply hat you just use this with batteries and your set. So it's pretty modular, which is expected from something like this. This is the expansion board. Again, a smaller one. This is just there to protect the headers, but there we go. And this is the final module. You also get these. These antennas as well. That's your Latte Panda IOTA. This is the UPS module. Can use batteries in there i like the fact that these screws are labeled so you know what you're dealing with even if they get mixed up so the latte panda iota has a powerful processor n150 which is faster than your raspberry pi and other compatible single board computers it has all these connectivity features you see usb hdmi ethernet your memory card slot here your usb c that you can use for power and you can even study all these different modules RAM and the storage space that it has your thermal paste you have to apply it evenly you can use the P model the L model I've, I've seen all of them it's very subjective you just want to cover it in a way that's evenly they make a connection with the fan to keep it cool even if you're new and you're just getting it started just simple steps you have to connect this like this so this is the fan you want to make sure that the colors match right there Wi-Fi card again this goes here not really a whole lot you can do wrong there. And then you have your USBs that you can attach 
your mouse keyboard, your display. You have multiple ways to power this. I'm gonna use USB-C, let's see if that works. If not, we'll try the other one first. Make sure that this is connected. Your goal is to put this here. For that, you first need to apply a thermal paste. You can attach this RTC battery as well. Once you've applied your thermal paste, remove this pad and attach it. I've removed the cover so it's not ready to be attached. Make sure the fan is close to the processor. I am going to go with the longer ones. The smaller ones are available as well. They do have some recommendations, whether you want to put it on the top or bottom, go with different size. Just securing these with the screws. Just make sure that they line up. So you do this for all the four sides, make sure they're secure and then you're ready to go. So this is the hardest part really. And then obviously you have the connection for the wireless that we can do, but that's about it. Pretty much you have your fan and you attach the screws. Now you can add additional things such as the battery and UPS and high speed storage if you need it. I have this again, you're not gonna have a hard time figuring out how to insert this. There's just only one way to do it. So this is the battery for this. When you get it, these two antenna cables are not connected, but they go easily there. You secure this with a screw. I'm just gonna remove this screw. So that's the Wi-Fi connection. And you can also attach these antennas, which they go here. So that's pretty standard stuff. And you don't have to do this. Why not? So now this is ready to go. You should be able to power this with an adapter, USB adapter should work fine. I have one of these smart adapters, let's see if it works. I should technically be able to connect this to here and I have my HDMI port here, so from this side and then go from there. Just gonna connect this adapter. The fan is running. So I have Windows running. Apparently this is the one version that comes with Windows. You hear the noise, that's working right there that's my windows i'm going to connect to wi-fi can i connect this keyboard to that it's the k780 it's plug and play so i have my windows up and running on this latte panda iota just connected to the internet so it's a pretty powerful computer you're running windows 11 let's see the system information windows 11 pro this particular version has 8 gigs of ram so graphics this is the amount of storage I have once I get it and I haven't installed anything. So if you want to get this, you probably want to go to 128. Now it's raining outside, but I'm talking, you see it's 94.95. Let's just open an app that's... So that's with the rain outside and also the noise that the fan is making. I just turn it over. I'd like to get a case for this. I think there are going to be cases available. I've seen from the other Latte computers that there are cases, maybe third party cases. That's with my FLIR camera. How is the temperature? I'm running Arena Chess on Latte Panda, so let's see. I can download a Stockfish 17 and run it here as well. So that's not a problem. Any UCI engine works. So what we're gonna do is install WSL. So that's done. You can use something like this to run an LLM through the command line. Next, we're going to install Node.js. First, we have to enable that. So I just enable that. So that's what we have. So we're downloading it and installing it. Will take a while now i don't have a whole lot of space on this because i'm just going by the storage that's available which should be good enough for this project i just want to run gemini command line and just test it on latte panda that's i think the easiest project i can do without building a robot from scratch so i'm now in linux let's just do this there we go, so we're getting this. Now I'm going to do the Gemini installation. I think I'm going to need also to get some sort of credentials from Google. So that's the version that we have. We're using Node.js's package executioner. So we can use a Gemini API key. You can use login with Google. You can create a Gemini MD file. 
It's just sort of like an agent MD of if all, if you use AI, you know what's going on here. There are multiple ways to access this. I can just go to Google AI Studio and create a project and then get my key. I'm just gonna go with this. Use this, we're going to have to create an environment file, the home address here. So you create your env file, copy your Gemini key, Gemini, and then you can, let's say, for example, I want to edit Gemini.md. This is where you can add your instructions, your system instructions, how you want to interact with it, customize your experience. Okay, so that's the question that it came up with. I want to do a little bit of coding. It's going to create a snake HTML. So everything is happening in the command line. A lot of people like using the cloud services and to be fair, Google AI Studio has a pretty fast interface, unlike ChatGPT, but this is the snake file. That's my home path that we write. So there we go. And this is completely HTML, so I'm not using any JavaScript. I don't want to bother. I've been running it for a couple hours now. I started around 10 a.m. with the installation. And remember, I have my camera. I have my microphone to set up. I have the lights. I had to do a clean up in the office to make sure that I have room for this. So everything from that to getting the sound level to, to measure the thermal signature with the FLIR camera to installing Gemini command line. All of that took a, maybe an hour max. Let's see the temperature. So the temperature is 37 degrees. I even installed Arena Chess. Let's do a Stockfish. You choose the path. So I am loading Stockfish. It's gonna have a book. I didn't define a book for it. Let's see how the temperature changes. So the temperature is around 83 degrees, but again, it dropped after a Stockfish made its move. That's about it. This was the Latte Panda Iota. It's very powerful. It came with windows which i was surprised i thought the version i was getting didn't have anything i was ready to install linux but if it has windows it's even better and if i need the linux environment i just use wsl as i showed in the video i downloaded the stockfish i played around with gemini command line you are going to need one of these protects your investment you apply that thermal paste you connect the fan you put attach it to the processor and you attach the battery here for the RTC and you attach your HDMI. Everything was pretty straightforward. I didn't use the expansion for the SSD that's possible. I didn't use the UPS because you need batteries and I don't need it. I just turn it off. I wanted to test the main functions of this. One thing that I did do was install this Wi-Fi card and I attached those antennas does have a memory card area that you can expand. Does have these buttons for reset here, for reset and for power on. For more information, please go to the description. The guys at DF Robot were kind enough to send me this to test and I really, really enjoyed this. I generally don't do these videos because there are a lot of people who do it better, let's be honest. But at the same time, I was very interested. Thanks for watching.